we'll use our equilibrium formula to show why this statement is indeed incorrect. Now, our equilibrium formula says equilibrium income equals the multiplier times autonomous spending, which means that the combination of autonomous spending and the multiplier determines the equilibrium level of income. Now, let's use some figures, and we say, let's assume the multiplier is 5, autonomous spending is 100, then our equilibrium income is 500. Now we ask, so ask what happens when there's, say for instance, an increase of 10 in autonomous spending. Now that can be investment spending, government spending, or any of those components. Then we can ask what is the change in the level of output. And that will be equal to 5, that's the multiplier, for every 1 rand increase in autonomous spending, you'll get a 5 rand increase in output. It will be equal to 5 times 10 equals 50. The question now is then, what happens now if there's an increase in the multiplier? Let's say the multiplier is 6 and the autonomous spending still increases with 10, then your increase in income will be equal to 60. So there's indeed, what happens is, the greater the multiplier, the greater will be the impact of the increase in autonomous spending on the level of output. Now, this is an important principle in this model, because this model is driven by two things, autonomous spending and the multiplier. So let's look at the um, circular flow model, where we have the firms and we have households. Now let's assume there's this increase in autonomous spending of 100, that can be because of investment spending that increases, which implies firms will produce 100 more. This will be paid out as income of 100 to households. They will then increase their consumption spending, assuming the multiplier is no, uh, as far, uh, the margin propensity to consume is 0 0.8, which gives you a multiplier of 5. And they will increase their consumption spending by 80. Firms will then produce 80 more goods and services for those households, and that becomes income again of 80. Households will then spend that income, but not all of it, only 64. And you can see how the multiplier operates. Now, what happens when the multiplier is 0 0.9? which you have the margin propensity to consume is 0 0.8, which gives you a higher multiplier. So let's see what happens then. So of this 100 increase in autonomous spending, you're going to find that consumption now increases not by 80, but by 90. And in other words, then you're going to find income will increase by 90, and not in this case 80. And then households will increase their consumption spending by 81 and not by 64. So you can see the multiplier is now much greater and you will have a much bigger impact on the level of income and output the greater the value of the multiplier.